What's going on, family? In day back again. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be uh, my last Marvel showcase. What I decide to do is from now on, I'm just gonna since there's gonna be like a ton of these Marvel Legend waves coming out. Uh, I don't know why Hasbro likes to do this. They claim that. This is too, they're pushing these out too fast. They, they claim they're not, but they are. But So when I get them, the ones that impress me the most, I'll just do a single a review on that single character. The ones that I was going to do with this Iron Man, I forgot them, so I'll, I'll talk about them last here. But, uh, but the first one I'm going to do is with this Domino, so I'm going to take her out. But she's going to get her uh, uh, own kind of review because I'm... <laughs> really kind of uh, happy how this turned out so and quite impressed so but talking about these <laughs> you know this is Hasbro so we're dealing with a company that's got so lazy and, and cheap that you know the disappointment should should be expected but when it comes it's uh it's it's like uh, the word I was trying to think about it. My, the word is my disappointment is so bored right now. So uh, I'm gonna talk about just get these other two out the way real quick because I got these two for five. Uh, so glad I waited. <laughs> uh, this guy should not be sold for twenty dollars. He's he's cool. Uh, I'm not big on Guardians of the Galaxy. They're not my uh, not the space characters I like. The cosmic characters I like. Um, uh, I'm just not big on them. Um, some of the characters I do like, but that team as they are right now is not the particular team I would like. Uh, I did like how he was, <laughs> felt like he was moving like a little ninja in the movie, so it's cool to get this guy. So glad I paid $5 for him, like I said. Should not be paid. <laughs> Should not, it should not be charged. I don't know how Hasbro's getting away with charging twenty dollars for this guy. Just doesn't make sense, you know. So, and nobody's gonna speak up on that. So, you know, some people people do, but you know, they they don't hold Hasbro accountable for that. You know, should be holding them accountable for that. There's no way that guy should be twenty dollars. Um, and this guy I don't know nothing about. Uh. Apparently, I've seen a lot of people army build this guy, so I did research. So that may I didn't know why they was army building him, but it makes sense. Uh, once you learn that, learn once I learned about him, it makes sense why they was army building him. But you know, I thought he was a villain, but he, he actually is. But they they try to uh, on the box kind of make him out like a hero, but he's actually a villain. So that smile is kind of. I was wondering why they, if this guy's a hero, why he's got this menacing smile on his face. But, you know, this is a Hyperion body mode, so. Uh, it's, it's okay, I don't know. He's a villain, so. I guess he's dead, so I don't know why they, I heard, I saw a lot of people who was mad that he got made. And, you know, why was he made? I don't know. There's a lot of other characters that could have been made before him. I I do agree about that. So, But talking about the disappointment, <laughs> what I was getting to was, you know, and I like X-23, but all I can do, I was trying to think of a word, how to describe my disappointment. All I can say is, it's just shaking my head, disappointment. Uh, it's not really not not the sculpt because I tell you right now this thing in all capital letters destroys the old <laughs> uh, Toy Biz one. This is the only one other one. This was a much much needed update because this thing absolutely destroys this capital letters. Sorry, capital letters destroys this thing. Only thing this one has is he has the. Uh, that which I don't know why Hasbro didn't like I said cheap and lazy uh, but the disappointment is in you know now I understand this may be just mine but there's some things I think it's gonna be across the board but with the paint you can always see some of that like right there 
it seems like they was getting better, but then this figure comes out and it's it's the paint is all over the place on this thing. So let's see if I can get that if that shows up on the shoulder right there. This paint there missing. And I thought this I saw it in the package. I thought I, it was this paint on there. I could rub it off, but they actually painted that. So I think, like I said, I think this is going to be across the board where they painted, instead of molding the flesh tones, they painted over the the gray with the flesh tone. So that's not showing up on the camera. That's showing up, if you can see that. You can see the paint, uh, see the gray bleeding through. So I think that's going to be across the board if they painted it. So just letting you know, like I said, this may be just the one I got with paint issues, but I think it's going to be across the board, at least with that, if they painted, uh, painted over this. So, and like I said, I'm just shaking my head. <laughs> it's not my, it's not even anger or disappointment. It's just shaking, shaking the head, <laughs> just shaking my head with the uh, disappointment now. So, uh, and I like I like X twenty three. Not her playing, not her cosplaying as Wolverine. I like her as X twenty three. And I was needing a new one, but it's like just shaking my head. Once you get her, <laughs> that's all you can do. The head sculpt, that's fine. You know, just like. It's right body, everything's fine. It's the paint. <laughs> so it's like, seemed like I thought they was getting better with the, with the comic book figures doing more, not being sloppy with the paint. And nope. Uh, so I get the Iron Man last. Uh, I guess the other guy people will probably be interested in Cable, which is it's a solid figure. And many people know he's gonna be the figure that's gonna be hard to get and probably. You know, scalpers gonna be upcharging them online. So, uh, just be, just be, uh, spend wisely, buy wisely, and just get them for the best price you can get them at. Uh, mainly try to just find them in the wild. You know, twenty dollars I think is what he's worth. But if you can't find them in the wild, just spend wisely. Don't spend outrageous prices because it's not worth it. <laughs> I just to me so I will say be careful I hope that doesn't break off over time as I think because glued in there so hope that doesn't break off so just be careful how you move his head oh this does come off that's gonna be a <laughs> just like Cyclops uh moving this round is it does it's not it kind of, I think it's supposed to come off because I remember I'm working on something and he didn't have all this on so it's cool that it comes off but it's not, it doesn't snap in there uh, securely, so if you turn them, it'll, it'll start coming unsnapped. So just be aware of that. So, but it's basically he's basically uh, head sculpt is different, but it's uh, basically the same, mostly the same as this guy, like the legs, upper. That's this Hyperion right there, uh, but mostly the same. This new sculpt, new sculpted uh. Heads, heads are different sculpts, so no, but everything else, the soul's cool. So, um, yeah, just like I said, just be wisely, just uh, be uh, try to find them out in the wild if you can't, you know, just don't overpay for this guy. That's all I'm saying. Uh, this, this is pretty cool that you can store his guns too, so. Uh, so. Yeah, solid figure. This, like I said, this spin wisely. Um, Sherry, I like this cape on her. <laughs> it does come off. I do like that on her, but. Um, yeah, this is a solid. I've seen this mold before, you know. They keep overusing this mode now. I don't know what, why they don't want to use the uh, Moonstone body mode no more. The uh, Rogue body mode. I don't know why they don't use that anymore. Uh, 
I'll talk about that later. <laughs> another video, because I'm going to do another rant video uh, about something, but it pertains to figures. So, uh, this guy, uh, I'm really liking this body mold. It's the same one they use for Bullseye. Uh, I think it's Spider, uh, Spider 2099, I think, was the first they used it on. I'm hoping, it's supposed to be getting the Silver Server. I hope they use this body. I really do. Hope they use this body mode. I do don't, I do wish they would stop doing the, do swivels on the ankles instead of stop doing this, uh, shin cuts. I, I, I don't know. I just don't like that. I don't know. That's just me. I understand why they do it, but. It's kind of, I just kind of wish they would do something else so you don't break up the molds like that. <laughs> That's just me, but I do like this body. Uh, now, a lot of people have been wanting a, a comic book version of Black Panther with butterfly joints. And I, if they don't, I think they could put one, do one with this body mold. But this one I do like too. Uh, it's my, my new go to Black Panther, uh, too. So this was the Walmart. Exclusive. Uh, did wish they probably release one without this on it, but I've seen some people just paint over this or rub it off. But uh, I bet somewhere down the line they're gonna release one without all this on there. So I'll probably just wait to that. But right now this is my go-to Black Panther, and this this figure has been really nice to mess around with and pose. So it's a really uh, nice figure, I think. Uh, some people don't like the because he's got the pink on him, but you know, uh, I've been reading the Black Panther comics lately. That's like you said, like some uh, Shardman said, he doesn't walk around in that all the time, but that's what it's supposed to seem like. Uh, uh, his vibrary, uh, vibranium tech going throughout his suit, so uh. So, like I said, I was going to do Iron Man, like, <laughs> this Iron Man as a single review, but then I, I just got, found the, the, the three Deadpool figure, uh, Deadpool way figure, so, but, I'm really, really digging this Iron Man, um, I haven't been much a fan of anything Iron Man, uh, comics, um, uh, that I don't hate him, I just think he got, once the movies came out, he just somehow, for some magical reason, became the center of the universe for the movies. So the movies, as I understand, but they started doing that in the comics, which really started to make me irritated, irritated me, making him the, the center of the universe in the comics, which doesn't make sense. And he was never, he was never that. <laughs> he was always, like people say, he was a B-lister. Uh, he was always the main, big three of the Avengers, but he was never a... The major focus of the whole Marvel universe, and then they, they started doing that uh, once the movies hit. But uh, and the design was not always uh, in the comics. I I was like, uh, it was just okay. I just I didn't pay it no mind. But once getting this guy in figure form, I'm really liking this figure. It's, um, no, it's not the best Iron Man ever made, but for me, it's my go-to Iron Man from now on. Uh, especially since they gave us a a Tony Stark head, and I do have some bodies, some suited bodies to use that with, so, but for the time, this was my Iron Man, this one was my go-to, but it's now this guy, because I am really digging this one, so, I was going to do it, like I said, <laughs> that's how I'm going to start doing the ones, the ones that impressed me, most Marvel Legends, that really, that I'm really, like, digging, because I mostly get comic, the comic book stuff anyway, so, and I cherry pick. I'm like, I'm gonna do a rent on that. Uh, you know me. I said they need to get rid of the whole builder figure system myself. So, but yeah, this this been my look at these figures. Stay tuned. I'm gonna do that Domino uh, by herself because I'm really digging this figure how it turned out. So, and talk about that. And this went on a little longer than I thought because I forgot I had got some those two guys for five dollars. <laughs> So, um, anyway, uh, thanks guys for watching, uh, thanks to all the new subscribers, and until next time, don't support scalpers. Peace.